Hi everyone, it's Roger here from what's on DisneyPlus.com. A quick news update for you guys on how the Defenders shows are now part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But before we go any further, make sure you do hit that subscribe button to keep up with the latest Disney Plus news. So earlier this month, Disney released a brand new series, Echo, on at Disney Plus around the world. Really enjoyed the show, but I know some people weren't so keen on it. But nevertheless, you can watch it all on Disney Plus now. But nevertheless, this one had a major change that we've not seen before. First off, they dropped all of them at once. It was a TV mature show, which we haven't seen from the Disney Plus shows. But the key big difference was in the marketing just before it started coming out we really started seeing them revving up on the Kingpin and the Daredevil aspect to it because trying to get more people to watch it. And they actually started to include some footage from the Daredevil series something we've never seen them do because ever since kind of Marvel Studios took over the television department and kind of kicked it all to the curb Anything that was made by them, which was Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Agent Carter, Daredevil and all that kind of stuff, was all like, that's not us. We don't have anything to do with that. We don't want anything, you know, that, that's not us. It's not canon. It's not part of the MCU. Even though, you know, in Daredevil, we, they reference what happened in New York, you know, the events in um, the Avengers movie. Um, we've lost Agent Carter was a, a prequel to Captain America First Avenger and Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I mean, they've literally had Nick Fury in there. They had the whole events kicking in. But they kind of got pushed off to the side. They then decided to bring uh, both Kingpin and Daredevil back. We saw Kingpin in the Hawkeye series and we also seen Daredevil in Spider-Man No Way Home and also She-Hulk Attorney at Law. But we were being told that these were separate, these aren't the same, they're kind of um, maybe like an alternate, you know, a multiverse. And I think generally I hated this idea. I thought it sucked because I felt like Disney were trying to have their cake and eat it, take the best bits from those shows, but not have to take all of it. And using the multiverse as some kind of lame excuse to kind of get around some of this stuff. Well, that's all changed. And it's all changed pretty recently because on Disney Plus, you can go in now and you can see all of the Daredevil shows and the Iron Fist and Jessica Jones are all now in the MCU timeline. They would never like that before. And they've now been brought in. And apparently this has been a recent um, decision because uh, the actor that plays uh, Kingpin, Vincent Delario, he was in an interview with The Hollywood Reporter and he's pretty much confirmed that this was a new decision that was made while they were redoing the new Daredevil Born Again series. It was a recent decision with the new creative people saying, look, we need to take what was what was in those shows and bring that forward. You know, what happened there? How, you know, we need to reference it. And because otherwise the series was going to be so different from them, it just wasn't going to work. They're bringing back the Punisher for it. Recently has also been revealed that Foggy and also Karen are going to be coming back because they weren't going to be in it. Some of the characters have been recast. Now, I think recasting actors for some roles is fine. You know, I think we actually need to get more used to it with the MCU when it just kind of expands out a little bit more. But yes, yeah, so and now those shows are canon, but the fact that it was made such a, only recently, you know, they've only recently decided, because up till now, Marvel has been very much like, that's not us, that's nothing to do with us. And to be honest, it was just really complicated, an unnecessary complication for general audiences. People couldn't tell the difference, you know, and also, especially if you've got the same act in this, you know, if you've got the Daredevil and Kingpin in a series fighting, you would assume that it's the same same series. I mean, it, it just seems that I think like, you know, they're having to kind of get down to some more nitty gritty. I think that was always the best thing about the Marvel Cinematic Universe until the Modiverse came along and kind of mess everything up. Keep things simple. That's what the general audience likes. And yeah, it looks like this recent decision is now gonna affect it. This is why there's some little changes, for example, like in Echo, Apparently, not that I noticed, I'm sure probably most people didn't, but the hammer that um, sort of Kingpin used to kill his dad when he was a kid was actually different in the series. Um, they used it for, because they obviously filmed this before they made that decision. But moving forward, nice to see this is in there. How this affects other things, because obviously as well, some, you know, um, how is it all going to work and stuff? But yeah, I, I think this is a good move. I think this is the, definitely a good step forward for Marvel. Less complication, keep things simple. You know, it, I mean, you can kind of, so, you know, I get it like with like the Fox universes, but even them, they're kind of tying it all in with the multiverse. It just makes it really complicated. Keep it nice and simple. But it's good to know now that it's done, but just the fact that it was made so recently is just quite a, a bizarre thing. You just wouldn't have thought that that would have been something that they did. But I'm glad they have. But let us know what you think of this in the comments below. Remember to go check us out over at what's on at disneyplus.com. Like, follow, and subscribe, and I shall see you guys soon. Laters.